Hi everyone. So in this lesson, we are going to start with modeling uh, interior and I will start with a chair. So to begin, let me just move this on the side. And now let's talk about why I did blocking for a moment. The reason why I did this is because in Houdini, if you have an object outside or object in the object network, you have this grid, you know, it, it's a regular grid, okay? And the interesting part is if I now select this object, nothing happens. But if I go inside, of this object with one of the three shortcuts for component mode in my case i'll press to go into the polygon mode what happens here is you can see here that we are inside the geometry of this chair geometry node of this chair and everything else got ghosted now you would say okay nothing special happened but look what happens if i now press spacebar and Y on my keyboard. I wonder if you noticed something. Well, if you didn't, let me tell you what happened. This grid all of a sudden changed. Now this grid is in the center of this object, which is epic. Why? Because now, if you remember, I was, I was mentioning more than once in the last tutorial about this Z front axis frontal axis which is very important so now if I start modeling the chair so let me see how I'll do it so I will add oops I will add another box and of course I need to change the setting so let's go back to my chair Let's make sure that we are working with the correct angle or frontal axis. And now I will add a box and I will just connect this mat size to the box. What will happen is that this box will comport to this bounding box of this mat size node. And what I will do, I will make sure that this this node is my template now and I'll make sure that I work inside of this bounding box why well because I block the seed in a way where all these blocks will serve me as a bounding box so that I'm making sure that everything stays inside so that my scene is in the end I guess looking good or it doesn't mess with other geometry these blocks are just placeholders for for the models or the asset that i will model on so i will make sure that everything stays inside of this block or bounding box and now if i select my box Go to selection mode, select everything, and E to scale. Now my mat size is just a template and it's also ghosted. And I can see what's happening inside and I can start working on that chair, which is super convenient. And you will see a bit later why, why why the z-axis was that important and why is it so cool so let's just continue this seems to be a bit more thinner and now let me make an edge loop here now again i will and i will set this to one so that i center it automatically now i was i can do this again in many different ways but I'll simply just choose this one. And now what I can do, because this chair is symmetrical, I can just simply 
work on one side and then just mirror it so let's see i can duplicate this i will move it a bit and then i will delete this part like that and i'll make sure i close all of this i can just do this and this should work yep perfect and now if i go back to my copy node i can re restart the translate and then this box is where it should be which is awesome so now let's extrude this part this chair leg and we can enable our point snapping and make sure it snaps to the ground now for the top part let's select the polygon Q let's make it this and then F to enter the trans transform extrude front which now gives me the chance to move this even though if I am inside the extrude still Okay, but all of this seems a bit more so i can i can move this a bit so i'm fine as long as i'm staying inside of these proportions or this bounding box of my template okay this looks good enough i'll take this part shift a middle mouse button to select edge loop let's duplicate and let's move it here like this i think will be fine also i don't i don't need polygon here so it's good to be like this and let's see what's next what can I do next? Okay, I also need here bottom part, so let me engage in knife and let's cut somewhere here, but okay. okay let's just let's just repeat the cut. It didn't go as I was expecting. Yeah, like this. Okay, I want this on this selection too yeah this fortunately this knife sometimes uh really doesn't play along as i would expect and how i'm changing these views is with space bar and b on my keyboard and depending where you hover over your mouse pressing space bar again you will maximize this viewport pane let's try knife again control left mouse button track now things are looking fine let's try to move it somewhere here and then let's go to the edge mode bevel this let's make sure to disable point and i will i will just move my template with Control shift f that removes all the templates inside the network this is something this is also a custom shortcut that i had to set myself it doesn't exist uh, but for that please watch the introduction tutorials so let's select these two polygons let's duplicate them let's just move them inside a bit so i can properly bridge them oops not polyfill poly bridge select destination and now go back to copy and reset the scale control middle mouse button jump to the poly bridge with my horizontal scroll or end on your keyboard now here i can just scale it down 
I would be able to do this here, but yeah, it's direct modeling. We don't have to do it. Maybe a little bit like this. Cool thing is if we if we choose our knife and decide to move the knife, well, we're basically moving the this this two with the knife as we beveled the knife cuts which is convenient also you can do it you can do it like this okay and the last part is i would say this this inner side here but I'm not sure is this is is this is also here. Oh, okay. I also need to do this. So let's let's do this one. So what I will do? I will make edge loop. I'll make three of those. Okay, I think that's it. Will be fine. Let's select. Poly bevel. Select these three polygons. Let's modify dupli duplicate. And now what I can also do is actually extrude this, make an inner extrusion, disable outside polygon, and then I, I have this clean polygon, which I can then shape as as i see fit and now i can extrude this and i think that will do so now i will just select everything clip it and just mirror it see clip origin we at zero now everything is as it should be we can also clean these and delete them now this chair seems to be a bit too big so let's make it smaller again if if your axis is in a weird position you can press m on your keyboard and try to reposition and then here you can read where your handle is aligned in my case i need a world and the nice thing about edit node is that it has a mirror so you can mirror this movement and leave it like this And I think I will also move this a little bit here. And let's see what I can do here. You can maybe do this. okay and then here i can just can duplicate these two bring them up scale them a little bit like this bring them a bit more higher select now you see it can be that i have problem with selection so i can scale it I scale them inside and then go back to the copy node and just reset the position but in this case not gonna do it so let's poly bridge this select destination and voila i would say that's i would say that's a good enough for this chair also i think that this part is a bit oops not move the scale a bit like this 
this could be a bit thinner but yeah, i think this this is perfectly fine so just move now i don't want to do that that's better could do same with these just scale them a bit and yeah we can clean these if we want now we don't need them we'll just select everything double clicking and just press delete we can also clean this part delete and voila last thing we need to do is actually i think these are a bit these are a bit thinner like this and also we need to hover over the gizmo and then pick one of these they also seem to have a bit of uh rounded shape on top so what i will do is just make cuts quickly select three of those to poly bevel let's add some edges and then select these go to the edit node and use your scroll wheel to activate soft edit radius and then you get something like but then this part here is flat so we deactivate this and make this part flat and voila i could do more around the, here like making holes for these but i don't think it's necessary and i don't want this tutorial to be too long but because we still have plenty to model and for the last thing let's add our bevels to everything make a bevel like this and to make sure that these are not bevel these edges inside just go under the exclusion and then ignore flat edges and now inside everything any edge inside will not be beveled so in here we still have these bevel um, that are beveling so we just need to move this a bit more and voila I think that's enough if we ever want to change this we can always go back to this bevel and change it no problem so once again let's add a normal that's important for solaris and just make it looks good let's control save our scene let's select everything let's just make a group for material and say chair and then i can also make sure that this group is also renamed to a chair and let's 
select the group geometry groups and let's add a material and for the material let's go inside the material network standard or copy one of these smaller say chair go up or go back and this chair material and then let's pick our chair material material we can make this green this group also is green and for the last one that output a output there press l to organize our node nicely then f to focus on this node and now look what will happen when we go out let's press number four on our keyboard or in your case number one basically object select mode spacebar g and look at this now our chair is in position of that bounding box in position where we want it to be and if we want to change the position no problem we can we go back inside and our coordinate plane coordinate system or ground is still in the center of this object and this is what makes things so much easier if i now ghost everything the coordinate or the plane is in center of everything here so that's the big difference so unghosted ghosted unghosted ghosted we go out this is how it looks so let's get back this chair and now i'll remove remove this i don't need it and now i can say okay my chair is done let's mark it black color or any color you want and now let's just quickly go to lobs let's render and look at this so let me just quickly remove this light and in the dome let's just remove everything and let's see to reset render and now everything looks a bit better have in mind that i am recording 4k and this thing is still fast i'm using xpu and xpu is is amazing for this kind of thing so you can quickly go over all models without spending too much time on them and then just quickly render like this in in uh, in karma in solaris you don't have to even change the layout you just need to change this network to stage and you can quickly actually viewport changes to 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 a solaris viewport and then you can change all these things or just check how how this chair will look in the scene and just move forward and that itself is in my opinion just amazing how quickly we can we can Go from blocking out the scene modeling uh, asset and then just quickly check it inside the renderer like this is like this is super fast it looks nice I, I don't know what to say what else to say if this doesn't convince you that this is really <laughs> nice and great and convenient then probably nothing will so guys uh, hopefully you you like this one we have still plenty to do and I'm sure until the end, once we have everything done, team will look great. So stay safe, guys, and uh, see you in the next video.